Hello, friend. I hope you are having a great start so far with trying to understand your goals and getting a handle on where it is that you've been spending your time. Today, what we're going to talk about, and you might not be quite ready to actually do this. You're going to want to wait until the end of your um, time inventory to actually do this next exercise. But we are going to talk about how you can categorize your time and then overall evaluate where you're spending your time and um, make those decisions about whether those things are lining up into your overall goal. So it is important that you have already done your goal setting and have a good understanding of where it is that you want to be spending your time. And then that you have started to do a time inventory of where am I actually spending my time? Now, after this, we are going to talk about in, in um, our next video, we are going to talk about um, creating a generic time block of like an ideal schedule. So that is coming up. But what we want to do today, um, which might not actually be today for you, depending on how many days you want to evaluate before you, you know, I, I, recommend doing a whole week of this, but in the interest of time, I'm trying to consolidate things down. Um, so you might only have two or three days in your time inventory um, and that's okay, but you may want to consider doing this exercise for a whole week um, before you do the next step. Okay. So let me just um, switch screens here. Alrighty. So few clicks there. Um, so what you can see is the hourly insert and you can see that like for whenever I did this exercise, I totally forgot to track my time for the whole day. But I will say that this was a Friday and that's generally my like daytime job hours. So it's not super important. Um, but what you can see that I've done is I have um, categorized all my time um, all the way down. You can see I even extended down here later in the night for a lot of things beyond what the actual insert does. Um, but what I have done is I've used our color coding dots um, to create my buckets of time. So that was bakery, networking, Tula 12, self-care, day job, family, sleep, right? And non-productive time. So, you know, what we're doing is we, we have 24 hours every day to get stuff done, right? Everybody has the same 24 hours, except for whenever we have spring forward and fall back if your state um, participates in, in those, um, in which case you either have 23 or 25, right? But um, most of us only have 24 hours in the day. So what we're going to do is kind of go through, once you're going to, you're going to create your categories, right? You're going to decide what buckets are important. And this is really where your goals is going to be um, important because these are really going to line up with what your goals were. And you're going to see how much time it is that you're spending towards each of those goals, right? So again, you know, these are things that were important to me to measure. So um, you can see that I have different colored dots. So after I did the time inventory for the week, I came back at the end. I used the color coded dots to put them on each of the things so that I could get a visual without really having to look super hard. I could get a visual of where I was spending my time. Okay. Now, what you're going to really want to do is, is actually take all that time and sum up how much time per week you spent in each of these categories. So how are you spending your 24 hours? If you find that you are spending, you know, six hours in the, a day in this non-productive category, which is, you know, things like being on Facebook too long and playing games on my phone, all those sorts of things. Those are definitely non-productive. Now, sometimes, you know, you could kind of call some of it self-care. You know, you need a few minutes to just decompress. That is, is fine. But whenever it becomes like a half hour of it or an hour, and I really need to be working on something else, it, it is it's really not going to it's not important for you to see the bottom of this, um, but you're going to sum that for each day by category and then, you know, get your overall numbers for the week. OK, so that's the first step. And then what you're going to do is actually evaluate it. Is that the right amount of time to be spending on that particular category or do you need to do more? I mean, if you come back and you tell me that you're getting three hours of sleep a day because you're doing so much stuff, I'm going to tell you that you're going to die soon <laughs> and something needs to give. OK, 
And um, so it's going to help you um, evaluate where you are in terms of actually taking care of your goals. Okay. If you have questions on this, you can absolutely message me. If you don't have the color coding dots, you can do the same basic concept with different color highlighters or any kind of coding system that might work for you is how you're going to, you're going to categorize things. And then you're just going to sum everything up and then evaluate that back against what you said you wanted to accomplish. So hopefully that gives you um, a good understanding of what the task is. It does take a little bit of time. If you need help with that, um, shoot me back a message and I'm happy to take a look with you. I'm happy to brainstorm categories with you. Um, but the ones I listed are often, I mean, it's going to be family, business, work, um, self-care, um, you might have a side hustle. You might have other activities like church activities or whatever. You're going to want to, you, you can get as granular as you want. Just understand that those all ultimately fit into one or more of the other buckets, right? So you can get more granular if you want to. I definitely suggest starting high level and then working your way into the detail. Um, but it is, this is just a super informative task. And then, like I said, what we're going to be doing, um, on the next task is actually creating a time block schedule that would be ideal for how much time you want to spend in each of those categories and where it realistically can fit. So, um, that is our next task. So hopefully this made sense to you. If it did not shoot me back a message, I'm happy to um, explain it or walk you through it a little bit differently if this is just not how your brain works. Um, but let me know. And if you shoot me a message of your um, your time blocked or your categorized um, time inventory, I would love to see how you accomplish that and um, just kind of cheer you on. So I know that it is time consuming, but it's absolutely some incredible information that's going to help you make better decisions tomorrow. Okay. All right. Good luck and have fun. I'll see you later.